There is one undisputed king of Chablis, and the name of this king is Raveneau. Uh, the Raveneau wines in Chablis are the wines that explain the soil, the grape variety, the region, and the history in one glass. Um, they age extremely well. They're not too modern or funky. They don't use too much new oak or any gizmos to try and sort of make the wine seem more immediate or more compelling. They are literally an interpretation of the unique soils in Chablis and the Chardonnay grape variety in its purest form. After all, Chardonnay is planted around the world simply because of the great wines of Chablis. Now, the Raveneau uh, family have such sort of fame that everybody seeks their wines out, so they're very hard to find. Um, they make pretty small quantities of each of the vineyards they look after, um, and they have a number of Premier Crus and three Grand Crus, of which the most famous is Chablis Grand Cru Clos. Chablis Grand Cru Clos from Raveneau can last, gosh, 25 years with perfect freshness and vivacity on the palate after this length of time. Um, and I think that where sort of value is concerned with top, top, top end Chardonnays, Raveneau is the place to look. Um, I think you're going to be hard pushed to find many cases to buy though. Um, the way to find these wines is to go to Michelin star restaurants in France where seemingly they have managed to keep their allocations over the years. You can go and drink the wines there relatively inexpensively. Um, I know that as time has gone on and I've experienced more Chardonnays from all over the world and, and I'm wowed with some of the massive rich flavours and you know some of the incredible situations that these wines are made in, my heart still keeps going straight back to Chablis, straight back to the Premier Cruz and the Grand Cruz made by Raveneau and I don't think I'll ever change. Mm -hmm.